What we're going to be going over here is direct labor variance analysis, and we're going to do it in terms of standard costing, and we're also going to be looking at it in terms of a graph here, a graphical approach here to understand our variance. Okay, so when we're talking about variance analysis here, we really have three different amounts that we have to be concerned with. We're going to have, our, in this case, we're going to be looking at standard costing, so we're going to have some standard cost here for, that we're going to establish for this direct labor or the direct labor cost of a product that we're manufacturing. So we're going to have to determine the standard cost for our direct labor. And then the next thing we have to know is for our period, uh, for our analysis here, we're going to have to determine the actual cost that we have here for our direct labor for the period. That would be based on our actual results. And then knowing our actual costs or actual results here for the direct labor and the standard that we established for the direct labor in this particular product, then we can determine the flexible amount and then based on that flexible amount or the flexible budgeted amount here we can determine our variances and we'd be looking at the variances here between our actual our flexible and our standard amounts okay so for variance analysis here for standard costing really we're looking at the actual results or the actual cost we have uh, for our direct labor for the product here versus the standard cost or a predetermined cost here for the direct labor that goes into the product Okay, so for our standard cost, what that would be here is we'll take some standard quantity. In this case, it would be some standard quantity of direct labor times the standard price of the unit price here for our direct labor. So standard quantity times our standard price is going to be our standard cost. So that would be our standard that we'd be basing our variance on. So the next thing we have to determine is the actual costs here. So at the end of the period or when we know our cost, actual costs here for this direct labor, we would just take the actual quantity here we have for the direct labor, and that would be some a number of hours here for direct labor times the actual price. We'd have to know the actual price here for the direct labor. That would be some hourly rate here. So actual quantity times some actual price, that's going to be our actual, actual results. Okay, so now we know our actual results on for our direct labor and then we know the standard that we established for that direct labor that we're going to be using in this product now we can determine our flexible amount or our flexible budget and that's simply taking the actual quantity here we have from our from our actual results and then we would take that actual quantity times the standard price and the standard price is coming off the standard that we established here for our direct labor so actual quantity from our actual results times our standard price from our standard is the flexible amount that we're going to be looking at. Okay, so let's go down here and let's look at our variances here. So really what we're going to be working with is we're going to be looking at a rate or a price variance here and also a, an efficiency variance as they call it. So let's start with our rate or price variance. This is the case here when we're this direct labor, we're going to take some actual quantity here times some actual price or rate here for all three of these. In this case, we're going to take some quantity of this direct labor times some price here for each of these uh, amounts that we're going to have to determine. So for our actual amount, it's going to be the actual hours used here times the actual labor rate or direct labor rate here. So actual hours times the actual rate. Then for our flexible amount, it's going to be uh, taking the actual hours here from our actual results times the standard rate from our standard. So that's our flexible amount. And then our standard amount would just be the standard hours allowed or allocated for our product here times the standard labor rate that we have set. Okay, so for our rate or price variance, that's just the difference between our actual and our flexible amount. And I've got a color coded here where we can factor out our common denominator our common amount here so between our actual and flexible amount the common factor here is the actual hours used so our variance is the difference between the actual rate and our standard rate so there it is rate or price variances and that's the actual weight less our standard rate or that difference times their common factor here the actual hours used okay so that's our rate or price variance and then for efficiency variance that's the difference between our flexible and our standard amount and that's based on the our actual actual hours here versus the standard hours allowed so 
yet it was uh, the common factor here is the standard rate here that's shared between our flexible and our standard amount so we can factor that out so the variance the efficiency variance in this case would be our actual hours here versus our standard hour so that difference times the standard rate okay so that's our rate in price efficiency variances so let's go and let's graph it here let's look at it in terms of our graph so what I've done here I've got it laid out this graph here along our x-axis or a bottom part of the graph here those represents our direct labor hours and then along our y-axis or here that's the direct labor cost and then we've got this one line that goes up here I got a green line that's really, uh, really a, a flat. We got two flexible budget amounts that we're going to be looking at. That's the standard labor rate here times the direct labor hour. So that's that's what we're dealing with here. So we really have two different amounts that we have to look at here. That's going to be their standard hours allowed here versus the actual hours used. So let's look at this standard hours allowed and see how we got our cost. So we move along our direct labor hours here where it represents the standard hours allowed or allocated here based on our standard we move up to our line here and then move across to our y-axis here so uh, the cost that the direct labor cost is going to be the standard rate times the standard hours allowed okay so that's for our standard amount here then for the actual hours used just move up here from our actual hours used point up to our point here on our on our but our flexible budgeted amount we move across here to our y-axis that's going to be the standard rate times the actual hours used so let's go and let's let's re just re go back to our our chart here and look at it so the standard hours standard rate here times the standard hours allowed here comes off our standard amount all right and then that standard rate times the actual hours used that comes off our flexible amount here on our chart so you can see that relating our chart here or our variances here in our chart to our graph okay so we've got those points defined those two points there's one other point here and that's our actual cost and that you can see here that is above our green line here it's not on our uh, uh, slope this line has a slope and that's really the standard rate here it has a slope as increasing slope here that's the standard rate it's above that because our actual rate here, our actual labor rate, or the price that we're paying here on a per hour basis for our labor, is different from the standard rate that we established. So it's above that. So we'd have to move above that green line over to our y-axis here, and that would be the actual rate times our actual hours used. And if we go up to our chart, that is our actual amount up here. Okay, so now for our variances. We got all our points uh, uh, broken out here, pointed out here so for our variance our total variance would be between our actual rate here times the actual hours used versus our standard rate times the standard hours allowed I'm showing that's between those two lines here and you can see that up in the chart here that's the difference between our actual amount our actual results for the period and our standard cost that we have established okay so that's our total amount now our direct labor uh, direct labor efficiency variance is simply between uh, these two points that we have established here on our uh, budgeted line and that's simply the difference here if you go across that's our standard rate difference between our standard rate and our actual hours used and our standard rate times the standard hours allowed and if we go on up to our chart you can see that here that was those differences and that was our efficiency variance actual hour versus actual hours used versus the standard hours allowed times our standard rate. So that's our efficiency variance. And the other variance we have is that direct labor rate variance. And, okay, let's just understand this efficiency variance. You see that is just falls on our line here. And really that was the difference between those hours, really the difference between the hours here. Standard hours allowed versus the actual hours used. So that's how we relate it to our efficiency. Now. The other thing was that direct labor rate, and that's really that price difference between what we have here on our line, what we established here on our line, versus the actual cost. So 
that is the di direct labor rate variance only because we our standard our actual rate here is different from the standard rate that we have uh, allocated here or allowed here with our flexible budget okay so let's look at that so that difference here is the standard rate times our actual hours used that point here versus our actual rate times the actual hours used so what was that that was our rate or price variance up here simply the difference between our actual versus our flexible amount common factor here was the actual hours used and you can see that down here common factor is actual hours used so our date uh, direct labor rate variance you can see that was simply the difference in our labor rate here that actual rate here is above the standard rate that we allowed okay so you can see here just going through a graph form here uh, looking at how you can determine these labor or these rate variances and these efficiency variances just to make a point here the efficiency variance was based on the difference between our hours here and the other point is what we're saying by efficiency we got favorable and unfavorable amount when we talk about an unfavorable that's costing us more money and that's anything beyond the standard hours that would be allowed in this direction so you can see our actual hours used are greater than the standard hours allowed so that would anything in that area would be unfavorable and had we used less hours it would we'd have a favorable efficiency it would be less than the standard hours allowed it's favorable efficiency that we'd have lesser of a cost here but in our case we used at more actual hours were used therefore we have that unfavorable variant uh, unfavorable uh, direct labor efficiency variance just on our costing here but nonetheless just with in this case uh, lay it out on a, a graph form here where you have your direct labor hours your cost over here your hours then you have to establish some uh, budgeted line here that was that standard rate times or direct labor hours you have some uh, slope based on your standard rate and then when you look at these hours here you have to be look uh, looking at not only your hours allowed or allocated versus the standard amount versus your actual hours you also have to be concerned with that price uh, difference in price here you have to be looking of if that price is had the let the other point is had that price been below our green line here then we would have had a favorable or you know could be a favorable variance as far as a uh, rate variance it would be less than what we had budgeted or what we had our budgeted right here okay so that'll pretty much take care of our analysis here looking in a graph form where we're, we're dealing with our direct labor rate uh, direct labor rate and price or efficiency variances